And hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Insight on Business. My name is Michael Libby. This is all powered by our advertising agency, Insight Advertising, Marketing, and Communications. We're an agency here in the Des Moines metro area, and thanks for coming on board. Well, you can see us live each and every Monday, 8.45, here at Webcast One Live, or whenever you want, on the internet, on our blog, and on uh, YouTube. So let's talk a little bit about social media, and I also have... I, before we bring Bo Fodor in, we we're also going to talk a little bit about Mother's Day. I think that was kind of fun. We'll talk with Bo about Mother's Day. $20 million day. $20 billion. I'm sorry, I said million. $20 billion day is Mother's Day. Uh, social media has lost its way and what we need to do about it. I, and I apologize. Um, I'm going to have to read some of this because it's, it's relatively detailed and I don't want to leave anything out. But let's go ahead and set the stage for us. Back when social media began, it was a wonderful tool for people to communicate with their friends and neighbors. People sometimes that they knew, other people that they had no idea who they were. And we would use Twitter and Facebook and all sorts of MySpace back in the day to uh, communicate with friends and, and share information, ask questions and get feedback. And, and this is kind of the way that it used to go, if you remember back in the day of social media. Somebody might say it's getting close to tax time, and John says, yikes, it's tax time. Does anybody out there know of a good accountant? And Susan might reply, sure, I know of a good accountant. It's uh, over here in my town. I can probably help hook you up. And so there was that conversation back and forth. And, and, and that was the genesis of, of social media. And what did that mean? 78% of respondents listed better customer service as their primary goal with business social media. In other words, they knew that they, if, if they use social media, that they could in some way use the back channels to get better customer service, 78%. If you, what does that say? If you've got a Twitter or a Facebook page for your business and you're not paying attention to your consumers, you're letting them down because 78% expect better customer service. Social media has increased, get this, by 356% since 2006. U.S. Internet users spend three times longer on social media than what they do on email. So business figured all this out, that the, the consumers were spending a lot of time on social media, and they said, hey, you know what? Maybe we ought to get involved and do B to C marketing. So John, when he's asking for an accountant, every once in a while his friends might answer but so too would the company uh, it's tax season anybody out there know of a good accountant and now a company would reply hi John here's a guide on finding the right accountant for you let us know if you have any questions so so we've gone from the personal interaction to companies taking note of how okay here's something for you to look at 87 percent of Facebook users have liked a brand Think about that. How many millions and millions and millions and millions of Facebook users are there? 87% of Facebook users have liked a brand. Don't destroy it. The majority of marketers, 56%, say they spend six hours a week at least on social media. 84% of business to business marketers are using one form or another of social media. So we're clicking along. Things are going pretty well, okay? It's, it's person to person, person to corporation. Corporation answers the person in a friendly manner. And then what happened? Marketers got involved. Hey, it's tax season. Anybody know of a good accountant? And it's not uncommon now to see in a Twitter feed the response. Get your refund now from Acme Tax. Retweet this message and get in line for a brand new hashtag iPad. How personal is that? Get this, that kind of interaction between a corporation totally non-personal and trying to push a, a product or service on people, 81%, get this staggering number, 81% of consumers have unliked or removed a company from their Facebook, uh, Facebook feed. 71% of consumers report they're more selective today in liking a business on Facebook than what they were just a year ago. 41% of consumers have unfollowed a business on Twitter. So we're at a turning point, kids. Um, has social media lost its way? What are we going to do about this? You know, If indeed marketers are spending a vast amount of time 
pushing out broadcast messages rather than having an honest conversation, it's bad for the medium. Hey, it's tax season. This is how we fix it, by the way. Hey, it's tax season. Anybody know of a good accountant? And the response now maybe comes back as, hi, John, looks like that you're a small business operator. We've got a fellow in place. His name is Rick Smith. He's a specialist CPA in tax, small taxes. Uh, I'm sure he can help you. Great. Thanks for getting in touch with me. No problem. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Again, we're going back to the personal. 42% of consumers expect a reply. Get this. 42% of consumers expect a reply within one hour of posting a complaint about a product or service on social media. If you're not there, you're failing the system. This year, those companies who manage campaigns across multiple channels, Remember last week I told you about a social media strategist who said the only social media you should be using for your small business is Facebook, and I told you that he was full of it. <laughs> Anybody that does that is just nuts. But those businesses that utilize social media across several channels, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, Pinterest, um, a blog for your business, they, according to the statistics, are expecting a 300% increase in business in 2013. Again, utilizing all of those social media channels, including YouTube, for crying out loud, in a way to coordinate and connect with your customers. And then this, 50% of marketers believe there must be a tighter integration between social media and the rest of marketing. 35% say that there's got to be better integration, tighter integration between social media and the business. So what am I saying? If you're thinking about hiring somebody out to tweet for you or to handle your Facebook post, think twice unless that person is deeply embedded into your world because it can backfire on you. All right? People love the organic twist to making sure that they're connecting with real people. Ignore your Facebook page, ignore your Twitter stream, ignore Pinterest, ignore YouTube, ignore your blog post, and people will start ignoring you. Conversely, if you take care of it and you treat people like people, like they want to be treated, guess what, kids? You win. Statistics say 300% growth in businesses that do that. We think that's pretty shocking. It's seven and a half minutes now past the top of the hour. When we come back, we've got Bo Fodor in the chair. We're going to be talking to him uh, about Mother's Day and a whole bunch of other things. And what kind of panache is he bringing? to Des Moines and to Iowa. Bo Fodor, when we come back, this is Insight on Business. We're part of Insight Advertising, Marketing, and Communications. You can see us live 845 each Monday right here at Webcast One Live or on your own time on the net. We'll be back right after this.